Earlier we had done the videos on MongoDB Realm course in which we looked at how we can log in using the anonymous method, using the inbuilt MongoDB method and using the Google sign-in method. In this video we will be learning how we can insert documents into MongoDB. So let's get started. So let's first design the layout. So first let's put an edit text which will be match parent wrap content margin will be about 10 dp and what do you say padding would be about 20 dp and hint would be your data that's all i guess we will just assign it an id so id would be data now we will add a button this button will be wrap content wrap content font text size 20 text size let's say about 20 dp text would be upload data and id would be button so this is what we had made let's put it gravity center horizontal so in the earlier videos we had made how we had made the sign in activity so we will continue that sign in activity now um let's see the this is what we had done for google authentication so if you haven't done this there is no need to do this again because we don't need it actually i have just commented it out everything these functions are not used you can comment this out too so now you just need one out of these two functions either you need to log in with email password or you can log in async or uh, like using this so i will use the down one so slash let's comment this out yeah so now we have commented it out so let's move to the mongodb realm server so this is our the iit encoder app that mongodb realm course we have made go to atlas go to collections then go to add my own data enter a database name which is let's say course data and the collection name would be test data or we can do anything click on create so it will create a cluster for you and a collection for you so here you can store your data okay so now uh, mongodb realm is all set we just need to see what options we have for the users to edit the data database access okay we don't have a database user go to realm uh, we need to make this data accessible to everyone like all users can read and write so we will go to rules add a collection this is a test data no template users can only read or write and the field name would be user id by configuring this we have configured each user to a specific realm auth id and we are assigning him what he can do this task so now review and deploy so deploy so everything has been deployed in mongodb realm and we are all good to go so let's go to this so now you need to insert data right so you need three things for that a mongo client mongo database a mongo client so 
so let's set the mongo client mongo client equals new mongo client either you can set it by this by encoding everything or i will show you a easy method just remove this so as you can see that here we are logging in him with email and password so let's say that he has okay we are registering him here so comment this out let's make him login so now he logins okay so logged in is successful so user user equals app dot current user so just like firebase this sets the current user to the app dot current user whichever is logged in now we can set mongo client to be user dot get mongo client and here will be the name of the ser service that we are using so it will be mongodb atlas because we are using the atlas service next we need to set the database so mongodb equals mongo client dot get database as you can see that our database name is course data so let's set this to course data so now we have configured the client and the database so we need now a collection so mongo collection mongo collection equals dot get collection and here the name would be what is the name test data so it will be test data so now all of this is configured so let's move on how we can use these to insert a document so by default the mongo db uses the bson document so we will use that here or bson it's not dated though but just to be safe side now what you need to do is mongo collection dot insert one new document what do we want in document a document is a map so i will map the user id to user dot get id and we will append some data so dot append we will write suppose data comma okay we haven't defined that right so let's define an edit text private edit text edit text or maybe let's name it data data edit text so now data edit text will be equal to edit text find view by id it's very easy to use mongodb once you get the hang of it r dot id dot data so this is done okay we haven't used this button now right so just copy everything from here instead of doing this here we will do it on the click of the button so data comma data edit text dot get text dot to string so this is what we will be doing so this completes our command but let's add a callback function to this so we will write result what is a callback function so a callback function will basically help you to check if this insertion is successful or not so this new document here we have appended things to it and this is the final org.bson document that we have 
we could have also done new document here and then append it and just pass the document in the first field but now i want to insert a callback so let's get started with this so what i will do is just add dot get async um you know what are asynchronous programming is right it uses multiple threads just for basic understanding you can look at it like that I can explain you asynchronous programming if you don't know it, just leave them in the comment section. But I hope that you know it if you are using MongoDB and you are doing networking. So now we will write result arrow. What is it if result dot is success? That is, we are successful. We will log dot v. We will log that data in search data comma data inserted successfully else log dot v data comma result dot get error dot two string so here we will be writing the error so this is all that we had to do now let's test our app as i have low memory on this laptop i won't be able to show you but i will surely show you the what do you call i will surely show you this debug version so you can see how the app is working out I will give you a GitHub repo link in the description so you can run it on your own phone and get the hang of it and see the code. So, and I will show you in the MongoDB Realm server how the data has been uploaded. Okay, so let it gradle build for a few moments. It will take about three to four minutes or maybe a minute, it depends highly. Till then I will explain you what all we did in summary. So basically we first made the layout for uploading data. Next what we did was we logged in with email password in the application and in the debug we showed that we have logged in successfully. Then we made a button dot set on click listener function. We take took the current user we set the mongo client that is a mongodb atlas we are using and not stitch or anything then we set the database name that is course data that we had created in the mongodb server this course data and then we set the collection name to test data that we have created then we declared a new document in line with this function we could have declared a new BSON document above, appended how many other things I want and then passed just the document name here instead of this whole new document string. Then we dot get async result arrow. If result is success, we write data inserted successfully. Otherwise, we write log dot v data error and result.getArray.toString so this is all we have done now i will skip to the part where the gradle building has finished so we forgot to initialize app this is what you may have also mistaken so app equals new app app builder app configuration dot builder pass in the app id new dot build so this will build a new app object for you and if you missed this then the login I think would work and you will get an error and we missed 
start my building so it's installing again let's hope we don't get any more errors so yeah we didn't get any errors and it says we failed to log in so as you see that we have failed to log in so if i write any text in the edit text and upload data then it will give an error because the mongo client is not initialized because the user is basically empty so let's make this credentials dot anonymous for now with this we will be able to log in a little better and easier way you can figure out why the login failed it is a very easy problem so it says logged in successfully so now let's write something in the edit box ignore the span error let's click on upload data data inserted successfully so we have successfully inserted our data let's go to the mongodb ui and atlas to see if the data is actually inserted or not sign in so let's choose my account i hope that this tutorial is good for you because i make it step by step with just as you would try to learn it exactly like showing you every error and every possibility if you need the tutorials to be concise later just leave them in the comment section and i can make them a lot smaller by not showing you every detail of the tutorial but i think that showing you every detail is beneficial because i suffered many problems so let's go to collections and here we have this test data see user id user dot get id and data is the iit encoder mongodb realm course so this is the data i had inserted through my text and as you can see we have it here so this concludes our tutorial and in the next video i will be showing how you can update this data so thank you everyone happy coding till then